welcome to this edition of Trading Volatility. It's an opportunity to take a look at a risk event for the upcoming week. And for this, I want to dial the clock forward to Tuesday, the 7th of November, and take a look at a trade around one of the big events today, which will be the Reserve Bank of Australia's interest rate decision. Now, the new incoming or recently incoming new governor, Michelle Bullock, is very hard on inflation. And she has said this last week that the RBA has a very low tolerance for high inflation. The IMF recently saying uh, there is the risk of higher inflation creeping into the Australian economy unless the monetary policy does something to it, or indeed they raise taxes. So it's a governmental issue, which they're not going to do. So Michelle Bullock is likely to fly in the face of all political will and decide to raise interest rates on Tuesday. Certainly now the markets are beginning to price this in. Let's take a look at a trade around this as we look to what's happening on the Australian dollar against the US dollar. Now, we've seen a big push up uh, in the Aussie over the last 10 or 15 minutes as of the time of recording, which is in the immediate aftermath of that uh, weaker than expected jobs number on non-farm payrolls in the States sent the US dollar down. And this has automatically given an impetus, a lift to the Aussie, to the euro, to the sterling, to yen, all the currencies against the US dollar, which is weaker. So we're seeing this creep higher. As I speak, we're just getting a print past the 6,500 level, that's 65 cents. And if we get a candle close beyond there, there's then not much stopping it all the way up to the top up here uh, at uh, the 68.92. You'll remember uh, we were talking about this uh, double uh, top pattern we had here. We're getting back into that range there now. So the risk, I think, especially if we do see a particularly hawkish comment coming through from Michelle Bullock and her team at the RBA, and we do get that interest rate rise from 4.1 to 4.35 percent, it's still not as much or as high as the Bank of England or where the US Federal Reserve is in terms of interest rates. But nonetheless, pushing higher does attract money into the currency. So I think the risk is for the upside. You'd put your stop down uh, underneath the 64 cent level. We're currently trading at 65. Uh, the new um, price target would be a long way up here. But taking profits all the way, if you see an increase in the Aussie against the US dollar, continue to bring your stop loss in and make those profits on the way up. Thank <music> you.